What's going on guys, Max Forte with another video. This is going to be a continuation of the new releases or new in fragrances type of video that I did for you guys last month. If you wanna catch and see what were the fragrances that I talked about, you can see it up here on the link that I'll pop it up here for you guys. And this is going to be the February slash March version of this video, which I'll do for you guys every month to share with you the latest and perhaps hopefully the greatest new releases in 2021. So if you guys wanna know what they are, stick around. It's coming up right now. Welcome back to another video, Max Forte. Of course, we're gonna talk about new releases of 2021, fragrances that I'm looking forward to try, and hopefully they'll be good because you know we've seen a lot of just more of the same. I'm hoping that some of these releases will be really good. We have one from Dolce and Cabana, two from Carolina Herrera, one from Paco Rabanne. Uh, there's a couple here that are under the radar brands that are not really being talked about these days. So without any further ado, let's hop right into these new releases. And this one here is called Tommy Hilfiger Now Them. Now this particular fragrance, from what I see from the, from the actual advertisement, it looks like it's going to be a fragrance geared toward uh, teenagers, young adults, something very youthful, very playful. And from the note breakdown here, we have bergamot up top, mandarin orange, pink pepper, pear, which that in of itself made me curious. I love fragrances with the note of pear, so I'm hoping that this will be actually a good release. Geranium in the middle, cardamom and ginger, so we're talking something a little bit spicy, a little bit minty. And the base, moss, sandalwood, and cashmere. Now that cashmere gets me a little bit worried because cashmere in, you know, depending on what kind of cashmere wood they use on this thing, perhaps it would be more of the same, more of that ambroxan, sweet tonka, you know, type of a woody type of a base. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, this is not gonna be more of the same. But again, it's gonna be more towards the young, you know, crowd out there, the young demographics only available in 100 ml eau de toilette. So I don't have high hopes for this one, but I still wanna check it out, still try it, because it could potentially be one of those quote unquote hidden gems that will fly under the radar. I'll try to get my nose on and share with you more thoughts on this one, but no high hopes here. There's a new one from Abercrombie & Fitch, this one called Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Night. Now, we haven't really talked about here in the community about a Abercrombie & Fitch fragrance release in quite a while, you know, since Fierce, which was really their main fragrance, which is kind of like a dupe on Platinum Egoist from Chanel, just amped up and more strongly obnoxious, very sweet. Good fragrance, but very powerful. Not a lot of people like it. It's the smell of the malls. So it's been there, done that. But this new one is called Fierce Night. And the notes themselves look kind of interesting. You have bergamot up top, lavender, herbs, woods, and musk. Now woods and, 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 and herbs could be very you know, subjective here. You don't know what kind of herbs they're using. You don't know what kind of woods they're gonna use. But from the lavender standpoint, it looks like they could be doing something that I've seen happening over the past couple of years now, which I quite like. I've seen it done very well with Pasha Parfum from Cartier, which is taking the original Fougere genre and infusing with new uh, nuances, uh, more modern oriental take, you know, sweeter, a little bit spicier. So I'm hoping that Fierce Night will actually be another one of those that kind of like under the radar hidden gem fragrances that will actually surprise us. So again, fingers crossed for this one, Fierce Night. I'm definitely gonna try it. There's malls here where I live, so I'm definitely gonna pop in there and try to see if this fragrance will be something that would be, you know, worth, you know, bragging home about. But again, I'm not gonna hold my breath to it because it could be potentially more of the same. Now, Carolina Herrera is releasing a couple of fragrances. As always, they always release designer companies, always release a whole bunch of releases every year. But the ones we're gonna talk about here is going to be a flanker of the Bat Boy, which is now it's going to be Lip Parfum. Again, this is proven to be another one of those ears that we're gonna have a ton of flankers and especially the Eau de Parfum or Lip Parfum variety. So Bat Boy Lip Parfum is from what I've read here, the advertisement, the briefing from this company, from Carolina, they kind of saw that the, the original was a bit of a flop. So they're making this more leather and smokier. Leather intense, smoke here, hoping that this, from what I hear, will be a more um, unique kind of a fragrance. And another thing that I wanna point out too is the new Bad Boy Le Parfum also has an infusion of cannabis. So we all see the trends, you know, marijuana cannabis note is being very prolific now within fragrances. So they are infusing the new uh, Le Parfum from the original. They're amping up the leather, the um, smoky facet with the earthiness, uh, with a cannabis note as well as the leather note which will be amped up a little bit more animalistic as well So I'm actually looking forward to this from the press looks really good It's got black pepper. It's got leather vetiver, which I love you know and the infusions that I talked about with the cannabis and the leather So I'm hoping again that this will be unique and groundbreaking strong powerful one of those 
attention commanding sense. I mean, I love leathers, so hearing about the strong leather, smoky facet could be potentially something really nice for the cooler weather upcoming fall and winter of 2021. So again, we'll just have to wait and see. Carolina Herrera is also uh, introducing two new CH, one CH men, one CH women, both titled Under the Sea. So for my, when I look here from the note breakdown, the women's version will be more of a fruity floral composition with some incredible tropical notes like seaweed, pomelo fruit, ylang ylang, coconut, vanilla, and cinnamon. So looks good. Uh, it's got some sandalwood in, also in the base, could be something nice. And the masculine version is going to be more of a floral aquatic scent with angelica, juniper, sea notes, violet leaf, cashmere, which again, I'm not a big fan of, and vanilla at the base. Could be something from what I see here, a little bit uh, Pacaraban and Victuesque. I mean, we'll have to wait and see, of course. But from what I've seen lately from Carolina Herrera, nothing has really uh, stuck. There hasn't been really a groundbreaking or really amazing fragrance to talk about. So this potentially could be another flop, but we'll have to wait and see. From the notes here, it could be potentially something great for spring and summer. Again, we'll have to wait and see. And speaking of Invictu Asks, Paco Rabanne actually has a new release again. And this is going to be Paco Rabanne Invictus Victory, or V, which is right on the bottle, as you can see here. This particular fragrance is another flanker to the never-ending flankers of Invictus. Now, Onyx last year was a bit of a flop to my taste. It was more of the same. Um, Little nuances from the original, little nuances from Intense, it like combine all the different flankers into one. Love the bottle, Onyx was amazing when it comes to the actual presentation, but the scent itself was a lot to be desired. So the new V here, it says to have a very strong amber base with a spicy, peppery citrus up top with lavender olibanum, so some green, resinous, and uh, aromatic nuances. I like the lavender. When I see lavender, it, it a lot of times means it's going to be a little bit more mature. So it, it, it's, you know, it scratches me where I itch with vanilla, tonka bean, and amber at the base. That leaving me scratch, that leaves me scratching my head a little bit. But again, looks promising here from the alabanum, frankincense, lavender mid here. Could be potentially something unique from the designers, guys. Let's just, you know, hope for the best here. I have to be honest with you, I left the best one for last. Hopefully, this particular one has me very curious and can't wait to try it because it is part of the collection that I really enjoy. Love the Dolce & Gabbana The One DNA, and this particular one is going to be a continuation, the third flanker from the The One Night Collection, which is a Middle Eastern exclusive. This is going to be, again, the third flanker, you know, joining the group of the first two releases, which was Royal Night and Mysterious Night. This one here, the, the third and final, hopefully, installment, you never know, is going to be a blue bottle, beautiful with gold appointments, called Luminous Night. Now, this one here sounds like it's going to be a home run for me. I can't wait to try Luminous Nights from Dolce & Gabbana, The One. And I'm going to read this breast kit here so you can see why I think I'm going to love this one. The One Luminous Night opens up with quintessentially great Italian notes of basil and zesty bergamot, enlightened by spicy black pepper, at the heart, the delicate sweetness of the dates and Middle Eastern classic delicacies is blended with the aromatic sage and other herbal components such as crisp geranium. The warm aspect will come to its fruition from the dates. The Middle Eastern components are also going to be enhanced by the screaminess from the sandalwood and the base, uh, meeting the smoky frankincense accents and the lingering trail of the amber. Sounds absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Let me know what you guys think of Luminous Night in the comments and all the other new releases that I shared with you guys here today. In fact, if there's any other 2021 new releases that you guys heard of that you think would be absolutely amazing to try, you guys are curious about it, let me know down in the comments. Of course, I will check them out and hopefully review for you guys here on the channel very soon. And so I have for you guys today on this video. Stay tuned for a lot more. Of course, show your support. Hit the like button. Touch the little subscriber for me. And hit the little bell icon so you guys stay in the know within the fragrance world. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Keep on spraying. Stay tuned for a lot more. And I'll see you guys right back here with another video very soon. Take care.